Hi guys, it's me Danielle Danny Buttons and I'm here with part five of my 2022 complete coloring book collection and finished pages video. Woohoo! Right? Yeah. Uh, part five. So this one doesn't really have a theme. It's essentially part one of the non color by number books. And this is, I think, our biggest stack so far. So we're gonna just jump right into it. Let's do it. First off is what my friend Toll and I lovingly call the phone book. And this is the 300 Mandala collection by Sally Berry. And I was showing you this way. Unfortunately, mine came like this and I try not to let it bother me, but it bothers me so much. And I apparently only have one and a half pictures colored in here. And it's 90% because of this curve. And I don't know what to do because I don't have anything to put it under. So I can't get it to straighten back out, but it really affects the book pretty bad. But anyway, the one page I have officially finished was a random color generated situation. And then I actually was going to do a second set with those same colors and just never finished it off. And it looks kind of crazy, but those are those. I, I could have sworn I had done one more, but I can't find it. So I don't know if I didn't or what, but yeah, this one, like it's really badly affected. I might hand this to Sam and see if he can squish it somewhere. Here, this is a mission for you, just in general. See how we can squish that back straight. Your hand isn't gonna do it, buddy. <laughs> Shut up. He's funny. All right, next up is Totally 90s Coloring Book by Christina Haberkern. And it's a super cute one. I'm one of those people that's obsessed with the 90s. I did talk to the hand. I love it. And as if. This one I did with highlighters. And I don't know if I love it as much, just because obviously some of the bigger spaces you can see streaks but it was fun to try. And then I just outlined the background paper with glitter. So there's a lot of fun ones in here, like a booyah. And I definitely get in the mood to like color words sometimes, and this is a good book for that. So that's totally 90s. Then I have Time to Travel Baby Sloth, or Time to Travel with Baby Sloth. This is a Coco Wyo book. And I officially only have one page done, which I will show you. But unofficially, I colored my sloth on every single page. So he is ready to go whenever I color more. And I thought that was fun because now he's gonna look the same. For the most part, I think some of my, marker, my markers dried out. So, and that one I accidentally did backwards and it still bothers me a lot. So there he is looking cute. So one day, I love, the idea of doing this. I don't do it as often as I would like to, but the idea of just like taking one color and going crazy. So this one might be a trigger warning, but this is the Adorable Circle of Life coloring book by Alex Solis. And basically it is, um, what do you say? Chibi versions of cute critters eating other cute critters. <laughs> so it's all what they would normally eat. And I just think this is so cute and I don't know why I haven't worked in it yet. Uh, it also is kind of like a cream paper, which is a little bit off-putting, but obviously once it's colored, it shouldn't matter, but I'm really desperate to work in here. Then I have Dream Escapes. It's a Crayola book. It's called Surreal Animals and Architecture. This is almost Crayola's take on Kirby Rosanna's type work. So it's like a bunch of scenes melded together. And I don't even know how to explain some of them, but they're just like obviously very surreal and freaky and cool. Like that's like a shark jumping over a bridge, but then he has crab claws. I don't know, but I don't know how to tackle these either, but they're really fun. And I enjoy flipping through here. Yeah. I have a gift from a sweet friend that I haven't colored yet. Ah, super cute turtles coloring book by Eric De Prince. And as it, as it says, these are some super cute turtles being super cute. And turtles are my all time favorite animal. 
So I need to color some super cute turtles. I was thinking of fun things to do with them. I might like cut them out and use them in other, like as decor on things, which seems silly, but I love them. So there they are being super cute. This guy reminds me of the mom in The Good Dinosaur, like that face shape. So that's oddly specific, but that's the truth. Then I have Wonderland, oh, I always call it that, Woodland Wonder by Jen Racine. And one of my favorite pages I've ever done is in here. All right, so this first is Sam and I both colored this one. I think we raced. So we did a video that we had to race. This one is Sam's and this one is mine. And we used crayons. So I cut them both out because it was easier for racing. So that was one page done. This book has doubles. And then another page. Yeah, this is one of my favorite pages I ever did. And um, I did this for a challenge video that I don't remember what I called it, but I was I called it like Funky Town or something where basically I wasn't allowed to use real colors for anything because I so frequently get bogged down. Like my moon has to be yellow and my grass has to be green. So I just went crazy and I was like, or everything's different. So I mean my sky, I just think this looks really good and bright and fun. Then I did this bear in a sweater love him so cute and i really love like these colors together i don't know and i did this one and i actually did this one in the doubles because i had started it up here and i just thought that was way too bright and so i did it again and i really like the finished product so that's the good part about having doubles sometimes i know we're not always a fan of doubles but it worked out for me then Okay, then I have The World's Cutest Animal Coloring Book. This is a Lonely Planet Kids book, and this is by Lulu Mayo. I feel like some people don't know about this one. Basically, it has the animal on one side and then you can color on the other. And I personally really like to attempt to copy her work. So I use watercolor and I try to match it as best I can. And I think it's fun. Um, for me, I know how to manipulate watercolor a little bit. So that's what works easiest. I'm obviously not perfect at it. And mine tend to come out brighter, but that could just be printing. And then I did these alpacas. And I did the peacock, which you know I'm not a bird fan, but I think this came out pretty good, if I do say so myself. So, I think it's fun. Here's an example of an uncolored one. In case, in case you didn't know which side mine was. <laughs> so there's that one. Then, okay, I have fun, oh, Yummy Puns by Jen Racine. And I have not colored anything in here. My friend Lydia has colored three things in here. But I personally have not done any yet. And I'm so sad about it. She gave this to me as a gift. And then she's the only one coloring in there. So I definitely need to, and they are so funny. Apparently she um, got this for me, I think for Christmas two years ago. And she said she'd like read through it and laughed. And I was like, great. So it is a funny, funny book that I have not actually used. Next is Selena Fenix Fadorables, Sweet and Simple. And this book I kind of use as my tester book for different mediums and stuff. So there's a bunch done and it's all crazy. Um, I don't know why there's a crease like that, but this is water base markers. And then I did some color pencils. And this I'm pretty sure was ink tents. So just at this point, apparently my whole book is crinkling. More color pencils. Oh, this one was another color and chat with Sam. And mine is ink tense and his is colored pencils. And I'm pretty sure this was when we were not yet married. So it was like a color and chat with my fiance. Remember Samuel? Yeah. He does not, that's fine. 
but this book also has doubles, so that worked out. Then colored pencils, super cute. Oh my goodness, this I used all metallic paint, and it looks even crazier on camera than it does in person. So this was fun. I just have like a $5 metallic paint palette from Michaels. This one, I started to use my, what are you called? Hmm, hold on, it'll come to me. My Sparkle Pop Dual Metallic, but it was really like draining that ink and I was like, mm, that's enough of that. But it looks pretty what's down. Color pencils, I really like that one. This is all metallic gel pens. It was just like a five pack of <sighs> Pilot G2 gel pens, I remembered. And this was the Tombow markers. So that's it in there. And then I have like a little marker for where the second set starts. So I think my friend did a page in here too in the second set. Oh yeah, he worked, he started that. So here's that book. I'm trying to get these extra pages to stay in there. Yeah, I don't know why there's like a crease in my book that's like super even. I guess just over time, that's how the paper crinkles itself. Good to know. Next, I have Delicious Whimsy, a wordplay coloring book by Jessica Mazurkowitz and Creative Haven. I have two done in here. I have the ice cream. This is one I was trying to copy the cover. So that was a challenge at the time. Sorry for the glare. And then I have the soda. So I don't remember what kind of soda I was going for. I think I was just trying to match the words. And then I just added extra um, glitter. And I thought I drew in those dots, but I think they were there and I just went over them in white. But it's fun. A little sparkle here and there. And I have a Crayola Well-Dressed Pets. I actually found this book in Walgreens one day and I was like, wow, that's cute. And I bought it. So unfortunately I only have one done so far and actually did this in Crayola Twistables because it just made sense. So it's my American Gothic, but with cats and dogs. And yeah, there's some, there's a lot of just like, I love this gerbil hamster so much. There's a lot of fun ones in this book. So check your local Walgreens. I'm not sure if they have this online. Next up is The Brothers Grimm, illustrated by Forrest Diver. This is a Julia Rivers book. I think Julia Rivers stopped publishing books, which is really sad. And it doesn't seem like Forrest Diver makes any on his own anymore, which is also really sad. But I did most of these back when I was just using pencil. So they're not the fanciest, but there's that one. This is actually with my Faber-Castell artist pens and more pencils and more pencils. I thought I had one more, but if I do, I've lost my index card. So I think I tried to like go back afterwards over this one and blend it out with the odorless mineral spirits or whatever it's called but it seems to me that it's like unblending again I don't know if it like dried up so much or maybe this does look better and I'm just not remembering but there's that and this book has the list of what the fairy tale is at the back so in case you're not sure but I will be honest that I don't know name wise what some of these are so I have to look them up anyway so there's that. I have a few more Julia Rivers in this collect or in this section of collection, but I did not organize the books within this, so I apologize. This is basically just two of my shelves, and I'm hoping by the end I can show you my shelves, but otherwise my plan is to have a full office tour up soon. Yes, okay, this is a watercolor paper book 
by Prima Marketing, and Prima makes some of my favorite watercolor pans. So I decided to try one of their books. Apparently this is volume four, and I haven't done anything in here. <laughs> oh, I did that. So I really have not much experience on actual watercolor paper. And I don't know why I chickened out and haven't worked in here yet. But yeah, these are really hefty. And they're sized to tear out and frame. So they're all 8x10. So one day. I'm pretty sure my friend was really into watercolor too. So I gave him a lot of the bird ones. I don't know why I didn't give him that bird one. But I definitely gave him a few bird ones. Next is... Kawaii Girls Grayscale 4-in-1. This is by Jade Summer. And I really like their these grayscale books. So I have a few done in here. This one I was impressed with myself because I usually lean towards silver accents. So doing gold accents, like all my colors were different. And I love the way this, this came out. Obviously, I'm a huge fan of purple. So I just think this is super fun. And we have our scientist or science teacher, perhaps, mayhaps, our superhero. I tend to use stickles on these pages. Our artist, this one I think is from last month. I definitely did this for St. Patrick's Day last year. I used liquid pearls and a bunch of stickles. I love this one too, the jellyfish girl. And then I did one in the Christmas area, which the first half of this book and the second half, the grayscale is a lot darker in the second half. I don't know if they changed artists or what happened. So there is that. You can even see it on the cover. Like these two are the first half and these two are the second and it's a lot different, but still love it. Then I have Grayscale Chibi Girls 2-in-1, and I have tons done in here. A lot of people were finishing off this book. It could be a one-day goal for me, but not anytime soon. But I have the vampire. The ballerina was my group buddy color for last month. The witch. Our rock star. Biker Chick. I don't know if I love the colors. I think I love her outfit, but I wish I did the bike a different color and it would have pulled it all together better. Then we have our cheerleader and I did it New York Giants colors. Go Giants. And our magician. I almost said musician. And apparently I glittered the entire curtain. <laughs> Our runway, well not runway, red carpet. And I left the buildings in gray because that is the thing that makes sense. Also, I tried to give her freckles and I'm pretty sure I took the picture before the freckles in case it turned out terrible. So <laughs> you might've seen this on Instagram and she was freckle free. Surfer, I think this was the cover of the second volume. So this should all be the second volume now. Our I don't know, I kind of made her like an Oktoberfest diner girl. So I don't really know what's going on, but I enjoy orange soda instead of beer. Our firefighter, this one's fun. It's just fun to add glitter to everything. So I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be a cat, but since I had up ears, I tried to make it look like noodles. But since noodles is black, we just lost all our details, but that's okay. Is this our rock chick or is she like a DJ? Or is she like just a party goer, like a club, clubber? That sounds weird. Beach babe. Birthday girl, I did this based off of my birthday outfit the year that I colored this and my birthday cake. Yeah, my birthday cake was a mess. It was actually, we did a nailed it competition 
and I thought that my cake would look good purple and yellow because those are my two favorite colors and it ended up coming out looking like uh, light gray and nacho cheese so I did not win but that's fine whatever then we have a teacher our hairdresser and finally our gardener with her purple hair love it I want purple hair I want purple hair without having to bleach my hair first so that is that book there were tons done in there yeah this stack there are some books that have one and then some books that have like 28 so it's a it's a wild ride then I have Animals in Love by Deborah Muller and I did my first page in here last month as a split color with Mr. Sam Samuel. A lot of people thought you did my half. So I was very proud of you. We tricked people. Hmm. Or, no, I don't know. You must be getting better or I'm getting worse. I don't know. Because they thought that was you? I don't know. Maybe because you, I use dark colors. But yeah, Samuel and I colored this and we ended up accidentally picking the same color in a few spots, which was fun. We don't usually do that. But there's our frog. Next, we have Kawaii Animal Coloring Book by Coco Wayo. I need to keep this out or something because there's so many cute ones in here and I only have my one fail done. I hate how this turned out. The bunny just ruins it for me and it makes me really sad. I like the carrot. And I like this hamster, but this is a like the bunny is terrible. I don't know what I was thinking. Like even that looks better. Like if I had just done the whole thing in that purple, I, ugh. My only hope is that secretly this color did not match the cap at all for the marker because I have no other excuse. So. Then I have Fairy Tales Doodle Adventure by Ronnie C. Pios, Pios, I don't know, also another Julia River book. And I have two complete pages in here. So this is when I tried out just outlining a few years ago. I don't really know how to tackle the doodle style because sometimes I think it's overwhelming to have all the colors, but I want all the colors. So I just did outlining instead. And this is all glitter gel pen. So but that came out cool. And I did tackle all the colors for this one. And yeah, this is kind of like a lot for me, so I don't know how to feel about it. But there's a lot of like references to potential Disney characters in here. And yeah, I have to think it was intentional, but I guess without color, who knows? So I make them the Disney characters. Then I have Animal Town by Coloring Book Cafe. I have one done in here. And it is our Tanuki. What are, Samuel, what did we decide these for? Well, the red panda, but what are the Mario Tanuki? Tanuki, yeah. But what is it? Remember? Mm. What kind of animal? Canine. It's a dog, right? Yeah. And everyone thinks it's like a raccoon. Yeah, we know they look like raccoons, kind of. Do you think that's Tanuki or you think it's red panda? <laughs> he has no idea and he's playing video games and being distracted but that's what I colored mine as I think the original challenge was to like use all pastels and then we did not do that so this was like a work in progress for a year it was a rough time <laughs> next I have the modern cottage collection by Jen Racine and this is a few of her books like samples from a few books in one and I have one completed page and it is the bicycle page. I, again, I love whatever this like pinky orange salmon -y color is. I love it. And I just think all these colors look really good together. So yeah, I gotta figure out what color that is. Cause every time I use it, I'm like, ooh. I have Hippie Animals Coloring Book by Thania McArdle. And I have done two, and then my cousin also did two in here, but I'm just showing you mine. So this always reminds me of Jenna Marble's dog, Kermit. That was kind of my inspiration here. So 
a lot of glitter gel pen and then colored pencils. And then this is my Hippie Frog. And I tried to copy, because again, I really love copying, especially with watercolor. It did crinkle my book up real bad, but that's okay. Then I have to show you, I bought the book for this page and I haven't done it yet. Look at this snake. <laughs> it makes me laugh every time I see it. But this is a book I actually lent my cousin at the beginning of quarantine and she did a few pages and she was like, nope, coloring's not for me. And I was like, okie dokie. So she gave it back. But then I have Fantastic Collections by Steve McDonald. And I only have a few finished pages, but if you remember, I did these for when I attempted to finish all of my glitter gel pens at once. So they took forever and yeah. Hopefully you can see well enough. I have that. And then I also did this one. These are big, big, big pages. Those are my only official finishes. And I also, every time I used one of the gel pens, I like colored one pencil. So this isn't completely finished, but it's on the way. And it just looks really cool. So that's that. Next, I have Guardians of the Enchanted Forest by Forest Diver, another Julia River book. And I have one done in here and it is another outline page. And I'm pretty sure this is the first outline page I did. So I just did, I was like, this is gonna be all green and it's gonna be so much and overwhelming. So I just outlined everything and I did everything in regular markers, but the gemstones in glitter gel pen. And I really like how this came out. So I need to do more of that. I have Brain Boosting Coloring Designs by Ben Kwok. And I have one done in here. And it is this one. And this was so fun and relaxing to do. I really do love patterns. I need to get back into here because it's so fun that the background is kind of done for you. And it seems like a lot of mandalas. Not so many patterns, but yeah, that's their example of the one I did. But this was just fun. And my friend gifted this to me, my friend Ren, and she also had given me small, like Crayola super tip packs. And that's why I used these colors because it was like a four pack of super tips and these are three of the four colors and it worked perfectly. Then I have another forest diver book. You are made of stars. This is quotes. I'm not the biggest quote person, so I only have the one done. And it is, go where you feel most alive. And I don't like quotes, so this means nothing to me, but I used all highlighters for this. So that was fun and fancy. Ah. I'm pretty sure I used my mild liners, which is what I use for journaling all the time. So that was fun and different for those markers. And I have wild tessellations. This is by John Wick and Creative Haven. And I don't have anything done in here, but I remember back in like fifth grade typing class in the computer lab, there was like a cool tessellation app, not app, but was it, it was just called a computer program, not an app back then. And we would play with that all the time. So I wanted this book, but I have not colored in it. Go me. Then I have color the nineties. This one is by Outrageous Katie. And for this one, first of all, I only have used, well, I did one page and then I was like, ugh. And then I only used scented markers. So like a 12 pack of Sentos and you can still smell it, so it's fun. So for this book, I let myself kind of just, again, put color wherever I wanted. So there's a lot of random colors on a lot of pages, but I have a few that I'm considering done. So this one, I did it in pencil before I let myself use the markers. And this was really before I was like back into back into adult coloring. And I almost like quit because of this because I didn't like pencils on this paper. But then, yeah, you can see I did a lot of like the titles. That one's almost done. Fine. I love this book a lot, but this one I'm considering completely done. The Bill Nye page, Science Rules. And I have a lot more like the rings, Tybini Babies. This one, 
is almost done. I did some pencil work too. But this one, Easy Bake Oven. And again, I'll just flip quick. It's so funny. I'm not orange juice OJ Simpson and his car chase. Like, what? A silly book indeed. Furbies, my enemies. And I'm considering this one done. Court dismissed. Bring out the dancing lobsters from the Amanda show. And my markers were drying out. So that's a fun book. And it's a nice matte cover. You know how I like the matte cover. So Whew. next I have Mer World Problems by Theo Nicole Lorenz. And she had a few books, but I've been working in order because again, this one is copyright 2014. It's Mine was from 2015, but so that's essentially before I was back into like adult coloring officially. So I just used color pencils and have gone in order. I might have used crayons. I think I used crayons. This was before like I had color pencils and I was considering this done. So fish are friends and food. It gets awkward. Keeping up with the latest fashion seashells is expensive. And you have to leave the sea kingdom to get tacos. The next one is a turtle. It says sea turtles don't have boundaries. And that wouldn't bother me. I want to be friends with the turtle. So, super cute book. Next is another... Oof. Next is another, unfortunately, thus far uncolored book. And it's my only Sherry Baldy. But this is Sherry Baldy, My Besties, Busy Beatrice, Buttons, and Bows. This was from Emily for me being Danny Buttons. And I don't know how to color in here and I'm scared of it. But there's doubles, but they're like back-to-back -back doubles. And it's super cute. And I just need to get over myself and get working. Cause there's doubles, so no need to be afraid. Then we have Creative Haven, Whimsical Mandalas by Shala Kerrigan. I have one done in here. And it is the bath time one. I think this is so funny. I did a limited color palette. I think I used my five G2 metallic gel pens and then I just like matched to them. So like I did the gold and the yellow, the purple and the purple. You know how matching works. And that was my limited color palette. And I think that came out super cute. But this is another like stuff mandala book. And then I have Mermaids in Paradise by Denise Klett. And this is my only book by her. And I've done two. This one was How I Watercolor. And I love how she came out. I really liked that a lot. So there's a video on this somewhere if you're interested. And then I also made this mess. <sighs> so I decided to try to use my scrapbook sprays. And I didn't, I did my whole mermaid first, then I decided to spray and I was very silly and like put post-its over my girl. But now you can see exactly where each post-it was and there's like harsh lines everywhere and it's not, it's not great. So, <laughs> oh, not my best work, but there's that. All right, pile two, hold on. Why are books so heavy? <laughs> okay. Whew. Next up is Playful Animals. It is a Dover Spark book, and this one is by Victoria Moderna. And I have two done in here. I really love this book. It's super cute, and it is kind of like a repeating pattern situation. I put the books on myself, too. And I did that one, and then I did this one for, I want to say, a one, two, three, four, five color challenge. So I thought that was fun. And I didn't try to copy this time. I just like happened to pick all those same colors. And I was like, wait a second, like that orange. It's not entirely the same, but that orange is definitely a copycat. So, whoops. Next, I have Chibi Girls, a volume three by April Amber. Volume one is later in this stack. And I have a few in the front that I've just colored entirely myself. So I got that one. Fashionista. We got a pirate. And we got a graffiti artist. And our snorkeler. And our detective. And then, nope, not yet. One more. This is one of my favorites. It reminds me of like the salt girl. 
I don't remember the brand of salt at this moment. Is it Morton Salt? Or is it the Morton's Fisherman? You know what I'm talking about. If you know, you know. And then this is a book that I do a lot of split coloring in. So I'm always on the left and my guest is on the right. A lot of the times it is Samuel, but I have also split colored with my cousin and with my cousin's daughter. So apparently I don't always give them the best materials. <laughs> I went wacky on this one. I think Sam did too, but I don't know if he knew I was going wacky. I think that's just his style. Yeah, that's my cousin's daughter. She signed hers, thankfully. My cousin thought this was like pants and like didn't know that this was really Rapunzel and I, she went crazy too. I like it. Our jewel thief. Oops, looks like I entirely went over the lines. Fisher. Fisher woman. I'm sure this was Sam, and I'm sure this means something to him, but I don't know what. A Viking. Ooh. And then we did the Christmas one, and unfortunately, whatever I gave Sam did that. And it's on my favorite salt girl, so that's sad. But love this for split colors because they're like just the perfect amount of difficult. Then I have Miss Wa Shades of Kawaii, a cute coloring book. This must be volume one. I think there's three or four volumes in this series. I only have one page done. I thought I had two, but I can't find a second one. So, but I definitely use Prismacolors for this and it's like a donut bunny monster so that's fun and again when in doubt I do yellow backgrounds so apparently that's all I have to say about that I have 50 lovely gnomes by Camellia Andrikova and I don't I mean it's done but this is definitely from when I was trying to use up my glitter gel pens My strawberry picking gnome. I don't know what I used that made my strawberries blue. I guess I must have used uh, chalk as the background and I did it at the end instead of the beginning. So my secret gnome, with my yellow bunny. What am I thinking? <laughs> and this is definitely before I found my no bleed white ink because I'm nearly positive that was white over the purple. These gnomes, my wedding gnomes, and a holly jo holly jolliday, a jolly holiday gnome, <laughs> holly jolliday. I think this was part of my 2020 advent calendar. So those are my gnomes. Then I have a few more uncolored books. Uh oh, this is the wondrous workings of science and nature coloring book by. Who? Rachel Ignatovsky, I hope. And I got this at the zoo in Chicago when I visited Emily and I have not yet colored it, but it's really cool. Oh, that one's super cute. And it's like different science-y things, ecosystems and cute science. I like science, so this was fun. <laughs> Oops, I tapped you. I feel as if I must tap you once every video or it's not one of my videos, so I apologize. And I got this book off Book Outlet and I haven't colored in it. It is Fright and Seek by Leigh Melendres. Melendres, I'm sorry. And it's a spooky search and color mission. So it's like the scene and then you have to find the things. So I'm not sure how I'm going to attack this yet. But it's fun. I hope, we'll see. We'll see. I have Sea Life Designs by Dover Spark. This is a Maggie Swanson book and it's super cute. And I apparently only have one finish, which again, shocked me. But it is this seal. I almost said walrus, but it's not a walrus, right? 
no. But I definitely brought this on a cruise with me and used twistable crayons. I remember doing this page on a boat. So I was like, ha <laughs> sea life on a boat. <laughs> but yeah, this is one of the cutest pages I've ever seen. And there's my walrus, okay. Turtles, so that's that one. I have Fairies Grayscale by Christy and Karen. I have one done in here. I don't really know how to attack this book because it is very dark grayscale and it is on like slick paper. So I just use color pencils and I just like burnished really hard. But it looks cool, but I don't really understand. But like they're just so beautiful. So I don't know what to do with them. This is the Rowan Tree Fairy. Hmm, hmm. I have Outer Space by Coco Wyo. I didn't realize how many Coco Wild books I had, but I guess I just keep them all separate. But this I tried for a spacey background. I used my iridescent medium and I actually mixed all these iridescent medium colors. I'm pretty sure with old, what are you called? Nero eyeshadow. So I like mixed my medium and my eyeshadow to make all my different colors. And I'm still bad at galaxy backgrounds, so good to know. But super cute. I love space books or the idea of space books. I think this is the only one that I have. <laughs> I have Color Some Cuteness Teddy Bears by Black River Art, which I think is Carlin Douglas. And I've done this teddy bear. I base this off of my two teddy bear friends. Oh, Noodles is violently dreaming. Do you hear her? She's, <sighs> She's okay. Yeah, she's good. <laughs> um, based on all my teddy bear friends. I have like a dark brown and a light brown teddy bear. And this is also like fun grayscale that I don't know how to work with, but they're super cute. So. I have Intricate Patterns by Jade Summer, which is unfortunately thus far uncolored, but I love the idea of it. So I really just gotta get in there and take some time and get to work. A lot of it is like secretly broken into four like this. So I feel like you don't even need to do the whole thing. Is that the same exact picture? That is very similar. Mmm. Mmm. So, I don't know, that's that one. <laughs> I have Puppy Love, another Dover Spark book. This one is by Noelle Dahlin. I definitely need to look up more Spark books because there's a lot of good ones. So my only completed page in here is this I did for a rainbow challenge. So I just picked my one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine rainbow colors, and that's all I used. I apparently added brown to my rainbow, but I needed to do something with spots, I guess. I don't know. And then Sam has also colored one in here. I don't remember what video that was for, but it's very Sam. So he just like did the corners. He's a kooky guy. I have Whimsical World 4, Fairies, Mermaids, Animals, Flowers, and Cuteness Galore by Molly Harrison. And I have more done in here than I thought. First, I did this like cover page and I thought that came out super cute. I'm sure this page is like in the book somewhere, but I like that I did this one. And then I have my ladybugs. I used glitter gel pens for her whole outfit. I have, this one is, I'm pretty sure, my Faber-Castell Pit Art Pens. Really like that one. And this one was um, a Disney bound. So the idea is that this is Sleeping Beauty and this is Maleficent. Hmm? Make it pink, make it blue. That was my goal. Next, I have volume one of Cheapy Girls by April Amber. I don't think I did my little disclaimer at the beginning of this that if you think I had a book and it's not here, it's either in a later part or I like to share my books. So I gave volume two to a friend in hopes that she would become a colorist. So that's where that is. But um, yeah, I try to share because one, as you're seeing, I have tons and tons. And two, as an only child, it's hard to share. So I am always practicing. <laughs> But in here, I have done our, like, 
cowgirl, sheriff, my space astronaut. I love the space pages. Done. And then a bunch of split coloring. Yeah, I made her an alien in this half. Vampire. Or like leaf fairy. I don't know why my party is so sad, but Sam's party is happier than mine. <laughs> This is like the disco. I love this background. Now Sam's party is a little bit sad. Our jester. Geisha. And that's it in that one. Next by Color Kick, I have the Fruity Chibi. I had to get this when I saw it because fruit themed, yes. So I did the Watermelon Girl. And again, I'm a little disappointed in my face pink choice. So, I don't know why this keeps happening to me, specifically with this color pink. But it's fun. And there's doubles in here, so I could have redemption. And there's a lot of fun fruity girls in here that I need to get back into. But, like, it's so funny. It's funny. And then I basically outline the background so she's more of the focus. And I really love doing this too because sometimes the background's too much and you don't want to do it. So this is like the perfect amount in my opinion. Sorry, one second. Okay. Whew. Next I have the Princess Brides As You Wish. There are two Princess Brides books out in the world and this one is the memorable quotes to color. The other one is more scenes from the movie. So I've done a few and what I do in here is I just have been like painting and like I just focus on the quote. So this is probably a done page. I could come back one day, but probably not. This was another one I did when I was trying to get rid of all my gel pens. This one took a long time, but it was a fun one. So I consider both of these done. I think that it looks striking with her in white. If anything, I would go back and like grayscale her a tiny bit, but not likely. So you can die, you can die slowly cut into a thousand pieces. Uh-oh, my book is falling apart. I think I just did that right now. So that's not my favorite thing that's happened. <gasps> my gosh, I have not had a book fall apart on me. Oh no, rodents of an unusual size. I don't think they exist. Oh no. Look at this, we're falling apart. Ah, why don't you give me a nice paper cut and pour lemon juice? Wow, oh, and then have fun storming the castle. My book is falling apart. Ah, nah, I don't know what to do with that. I'm in distress, guys. This is live, happening right now. I don't know if it's like unsewing itself. Oh my goodness, that's also a done page. And it came out terribly. I had an idea that did not work at all. I'm not a witch, I'm your wife. And there she is. I was trying to like, um, like color on plastic and then plop it down to look watercolory. And no, yuck, yuck, yuck. But yeah, this is completely falling apart. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm in duress. I don't know, I'm gonna have to get some clips so I remember. I'm gonna put that to the side. Okay. Uh, next I have Colored with Love by Colored Caramel. Super cute book. I did the I Love You Trash Panda slash raccoon and the avocados. I think they're so funny. They're like little avocado cupids. <laughs> And then I have another uncolored book, Mandala Sweet by Daydream Desire. And this is just like things mandalas, but it's like fruit and snacks, ice cream and cupcakes. So super cute. I have Rose Windows by Creative Haven, Joel S. Avern, Avern, sorry. And I only have two done in here, which surprised me. So I have this one. And the creepy sun. This page haunts me a little bit. 
Don't love it. You want to see? Like, what is this? This is the other type of pages in here. This is the regular type of pages. And then there's that guy. Why? Sam wanted to see, and he also laughed. But this one's a fun one that I just haven't worked in. Story of my life, am I right? Next, I have Sea Circles by Tabitha L. Barnett. I have two done in here. I have this one, which was a black and white challenge. I think black and white in one, which was I could use black, white, and one color. So I used blue. And I did this one. I don't remember what the challenge was. It might have been to use glitter, which I used stickles all over. That hopefully is coming up. It looks really good in person. Beautiful. Stickles are just like a league above. I have other glitter glues and they just don't hold a candle to stickles. Then I have two Jade Summer books that are also apparently uncolored. I have Lazy Animals, which this I think is so funny. Oh, there's a second copy, all right. And I just can't wait to color in here. Look, it's a cow buying milk. <laughs> I think this is so funny. So I need to work in here, ASAP. I was hoping that this book would eventually come out in grayscale, but it did not. So I was gifted this and that's awesome. And then I also have Cute and Lovely, which I didn't color in and this shocked me. I flipped through this a few times but I can't find anything. So this came out for uh, Valentine's Day. So I don't know what happened there, but I love Alexandra Franzese's work. And this was her last book with Jade Summer, but I'm gonna continue to support her on her own as I'm shopping. Then I have a Wonderland by Color Quest. I did not get this at Walmart. I got this at Book Outlet. This is by Chelsea Gelden, Geldeen. And there's three volumes of this out already. And this is like a old school seek and find like a la highlights magazine. So what I do is I find the items and color them in and then I just color the whole background in a wash. So I did pink for the attic. I did like a green gray at the park. And I did sand at the beach. And these are fun. And it's a fun way to do this. Obviously you could color each individual item. You can color just the items, leave everything else blank. You can color all of the items in one color and then the whole background is something else. It's just, it's fun and reminds me of when I was little and got highlights. And then finally for this section, Fairy Shampoo. I don't remember who this is by, but yeah, this was one of the very first books that brought me back into adult coloring. I watched Jen from Reading with Pugs haul this and literally had Sam take me to Barnes and Noble that same day. And I bought this book and I was obsessed because before this, I only thought there was like the super, super detailed books and I wasn't into those. So I have a lot done in here, but I did them all in Prismacolors for the most part. I think later I might've come back, but. Yeah, I painstakingly did every still strand of hair. I wouldn't do this like this if I did it today. Oh, I was hoping we could see both at once. If this book falls apart too, I quit. But yeah, I tended to like outline darker. And I love some of these color combos and some were not as good, but this was my citrus fairy. And I really liked working with fairies because to me, they could be anything and I wasn't like confined to a color palette so a lot of these I like Pinterest searched for color palettes and that's where I found the inspiration this was definitely a Pinterest search that one was too there we go I tried to do rainbow and I don't love how this one came out if I'm being honest with you, which of course I'm being honest with you. But on the other hand, I absolutely love that one. That's one of my favorites. Ooh, this one was good too. I tried to do like fire and ice. So her bottom feathery hairs are the fire and this is the ice. I thought that came out really good. 
I love this leaf. I don't know. Don't know what it is about it, but I like that leaf a lot. This one's okay. I would one day love to come back and like finish this book, but my shrimp. No, that's not a shrimp. It's like a squid. Why would I call it a shrimp? This was like my funky neon attempt. Fish. She's got fish hair. This I tried to do like a cool Christmas look. So it's like the blue and purple ornaments. Apparently I like to do their eyeballs in metallic, maybe to make them creepy, I don't know. This I think was my first black and white in one challenge. This was definitely for a video in like 2018. That one. This one reminded me of Alice in Wonderland, the flowers from Alice in Wonderland. And, ugh, I love this egg coin one, I never finished, but I did finish that one. And then finally, my pineapple. So that's that for part five. Let's go over our stats, okie dokie. So I just showed you 56 books. This was my longest little collection yet, but 56 books, 13 untouched. I still, I think I'm doing pretty good. Again, overall, no, there really shouldn't be any untouched. But it's not as bad as I was expecting. Though I think part six is going to be rough because part six is going to have like all of my birthday Christmas books from last year. And I was very overwhelmed and haven't gotten to them all yet. But anyway, 169 pages. Really 170 when I include that witch page. So let me remark this right now. The, I'm not a witch, I'm your wife. 170. Woohoo! So that is part five. And for part five, we are going to use our friend, the pineapple, as our secret word slash emoji. So, yes, thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. Comment anything you want to comment down below, including our secret word, pineapple. Subscribe if you haven't. I'm a fun time. And we got three parts left. And thank you so, so much for watching. I'll see you in two days with part six. Goodbye, friends.